Yo, what's happening, everyone? Welcome back to Pastime Tattoo. I'm Ben Verhook, and this is Tattooing with Ben. Today's video is very cool. We're gonna give you a tour of my tattoo shop, Pastime Tattoo. We started out in a real small 400 something square foot tattoo shop next door to where we are now. Grew out of that place, moved next door. So anyways, let's get this video started and you can check out my tattoo shop. So yeah, as I mentioned, we're going to be taking a tour of my tattoo shop, Pastime Tattoo, right here in downtown San Leandro, California. It's in the East Bay, right next to Oakland, about 20, 30 minutes from San Francisco. We opened the shop five years ago. Matter of fact, we just had our five year anniversary party and art show. It was a huge turnout. But anyways, I'm going to quit my jibber jabber and we can just get this tour going. So you ready? Let's go. All right, what's up everybody? We're here inside my shop, Pastime Tattoo. We're in downtown San Leandro. We're on the corner of East 14th and Joaquin, one of the busiest corners in downtown San Leandro. And we're here today to give you a tour of the whole tattoo shop. So let's get her done. I guess we'll just start it from the start. Here we are in our lobby. So first thing you see when you walk in the door is this fucking badass swinging saloon style doors that was painted by our friend Scott LaRock. He's out in Reno. He does cool sign painting stuff. So definitely go check his stuff out. Yeah, looking around the shop, just at first glance, you can see we are just covered head to toe, ceiling to floor with hand painted flash. And I could confidently say that all this flash you see right here, all over these walls. I'd say about 90% of the stuff on the walls is all hand painted stuff that the artist here at this shop hand painted here. The other 10% is, you know, mixed in with stuff that we've collected from our peers and other tattooers that we look up to. When we're not tattooing, we're painting in here. So all this stuff you see here is our blood, sweat, and tears that we have painted here in house. I'm not gonna let you miss out on checking out our ceiling flash. We got a bunch of those uh, Mr. Flash machine, a must have for every shop. People are always picking off the ceiling. That's pretty cool. And as it goes further, there's more of that, more cool stuff that we've collected from other artists. On the walls here, all our flash. So another thing you'll notice in the lobby is these seats right here. These seats are from the actual Oakland Coliseum. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a diehard A's fan, or should I say was a diehard A's fan. Now they're talking about moving to Las Vegas and that was the last straw, but it's still pretty cool that I got the actual seats. And then above the seats, you will see this, which actually is our old door from when we used to be next door. We started out next door. The shop now is a smoke shop, but and this was the original door. When we moved next door over here, we we're like, damn, what are we going to do with the door? I don't want to see the next tenant that moves in there to like scratch all the paint off. So we paid a decent amount of money and had the door removed and replaced and framed up along with the two windows that are like, over there and over there that were on the front of the shop too. You'll see those in a minute. We also got some cool plants in here just to, you know, class up the joint. These Monstera plants, I think they're called. My son calls them Moana plants. There's some cool plants, some more cool plants. We have some signage about pricing, deposit policy, cash only along with some more flash. We have some aftercare products that we actually make here. Cherry Bomb, it's like a bomb kind of like salve kind of stuff that we make here with all natural ingredients and we sell numbing cream as well twenty dollars a tube can't beat it and then moving around over to this part of the lobby we got some you know benches and some seats for people to sit in uh, more hand painted flash some of our merchandise little hoodies bill's got a shirt there got some more shirts crop tops gift certificates flash books more shirts Look at this crazy plant, it's out of control. And we got more shirts, more shirts, more shirts, more shirts. If you like any of this stuff you see, I'll leave a link in the description below for our web store. This is an aloe vera plant. And then we got these little vine plants Go all the way down to there. They've seen better days. Got more signage up here, more flash. What do you see here? We got the get what you get machines. We got a $100 one, 
We have a $200 one. The designs are a little bigger than the $200 ones. The recently added $300 one where you get a hand size tattoo. These have been very popular. A lot of people come and get these get what you get. They're all like real cool, classic, traditional designs. So no funny stuff. Everyone wins whoever plays the get what you get. Always get something good. Got some stickers, business cards. Classy, classy, classy. Mary, Mary. There's the backside of the saloon style doors. Then we got our little computer where we do the boring ass business side of the shit. More flash, more flash, more flash. There's one of the workstations. That is Gabby's jersey. Gabby used to work here. Um, sadly, she passed away. We miss her very much. RIP Gabby. There's one of the windows from the old shop. Our friend Ken Davis did all of our sign painting stuff. You should go check him out on Instagram. That's real gold leaf. I think there's like three kinds of gold in there. There's a reflective one. There's like a, a lighter carrot. And then there's like a kind of a rose gold looking one. Super nice. This right here is Jin's tattoo station. There's a bunch of Jin's hand painted flash. Got some good stuff there. Jin's got a lot of uh, anime themed, movie themed stuff. Some traditional stuff. All kinds of cool shit. Jin was Nate's apprentice. He just graduated, I don't know, a couple months ago. So he's doing his fucking thing. And he's been on a Hot Wheels collecting kick lately, so that's what all this shit is. He's amassed quite a collection pretty fucking fast. Oh, and another cool thing about Gin Station, motherfucker is strapped. Look at this shit. That's the drawer. Look at that. He ain't playing around. And he's got an actual fucking saber right there. Then over here, this is my station. My wife actually works right here. She does uh, microblading eyebrows and cosmetic freckles here. You should go check her out on Instagram too. I'll leave a link to her shit in the description below so you can check all that out too. But yep, this is my station. That's where I keep all my painting shit. That's where I keep all my clutter, all my tattooy shits in there. That's all my wife's shit. And this is all my hand painted flash. Let's take a look at some of that. This is the piece I contributed to our five year anniversary art show that we just had. Killer art show. I'll probably do a video on that too. This one I painted a long time ago. I'm kind of tired of looking at it, honestly. I want someone to buy it. So if you're interested, I just want to get rid of it, you know. And I already tattooed it on a, as a back piece, so mission accomplished. Here's some more of my flash. Some more flash. Sell the team. Fuck you, John Fisher and Dave Cavill. And over on this side, we got some more flash. There's another tattoo station that used to be Andy's station, but Andy sadly just moved to Washington and we miss him very much. Bunch of guest artists we have lined up. They'll be tattooing there. My mentor, Sal Cortez, he actually comes and tattoos here on Tuesdays. So he tattoos there as well. Over here is Brandon Heredia station. We call him Buddha. Got a bunch of his flash over here. As you can see, he is obsessed with the Power Rangers. He's got some Power Rangers flash. Look at that cool ass flash. Definitely check out Brandon. I'll put his link in the description below too. If you're out here, definitely go get tattooed by Brandon too. I mean, when I say he likes Power Rangers, I am not fucking joking. Look at all that. There's some more flash from my book. The book's called Ben's Bangers Volume 1. Five by seven hand painted flash designs. One side is the painting, the other side is the line drawing. It's good for tattoo collectors who just want a cool little coffee table book or for tattooers who want a little travel size book that you can bring on the road to conventions or to have at the shop, the little cool walk-in bangers. I'll leave a link in the description below. You should check it out. Got some more little hangy viney plants. We even got them clipped up on the ceiling too. So eventually they'll go across the ceiling. The stuff on the ceiling is mostly stuff that we've collected from friends of ours, other tattooers that we look up to and got flash from at conventions and whatnot. Then over here is Anthony's station. Ant's kind of one of the newer guys to the crew. He came on last year. He's absolutely dope at tattooing. You should definitely check him out. His link will also be in the description below. This here is Billy's station. Bill's been with us a really long time. This motherfucker paints like you wouldn't believe. This is all Bill's hand painted flash. And this is only like a fraction of a percentage of his flash. This dude has books upon books upon books of flash and like really, really good flash too. So I'll leave a link in the description below for some of Bill's work. Take a look at all this. Bill don't fuck around. He's real big on the nostalgia stuff. Cartoons from back in the day, cult classic horror movies, toys from back in the day. 
And then right over here is Nate Station. Nate co-owns the shop with me. There's a bunch of flash that he's got. All his hand-painted flash up here. Bunch of cool shit. I like Nate's stuff because it's traditional, but it kind of tiptoes that line between detailed and being simplified for traditional. He's always kind of like pushing it to make it kind of like a little bit just different enough that it could be his own thing. Probably why everybody likes to go get tattooed by him. It's always something dope. I'll leave Nate's information in the description below too. You should definitely go check him out. And if you couldn't tell, Nate's a big San Jose Sharks fan. It's a cool little shrine of collectibles. And then right here, what used to be the office of the place that was here before us, we converted into our drawing room. So this is our drawing room. We got our stencil stuff, copier. This is the printer that we use to make our prints. We do all of our own prints in house. So when someone orders prints off of our website, we just print them and send them out. In what used to be the closet, our reference book library, I'm actually not sorry. And then right over here, this used to be like advertising light. There was a bunch of them on the window when we got here and we threw most of them away, but we turned this one into our light table. So through the pink door takes us to the middle room, basically just like supplies and shit. Bunch of supplies, bunch of supplies. There's the, there's like all the controls to the sound system, more supplies. And then next to that supply room is our restroom. That's where we go pee pee's poo -poos. Flash all over it. This is where we keep some of the lewd flash. I believe my mom gave me this a long time ago. This is an actual picture from like the 1920s Barnum and Bailey Circus Freak Show. This is the infamous dick brick. This is the clean room slash safety meeting supply room. This is where we got our stock of steel tubes, cleaning supplies. This is where they clean the tubes, ultrasonic cleaner. There's our autoclaves, we can sterilize everything. And then all of this stuff, I'll probably have to blur out because it's safety meeting supplies, if you know what I mean, wink, wink, wink. And then this door, we're just starting to have all our friends or our tattooers coming and signing our door and drawing some cool shit. This takes us to the back room, a little messy. We got our fridge and this right here, this is our workbench. And we have everything we need to build our own tattoo machines from scratch back here. We wind our coils, all the supplies, got the bandsaw right there, oxyacetylene tank so we can braze stuff up, drill press, grinder and all that shit. Some of our banners, there's our couch. We used to have a lot more guitars here, especially during COVID. I used to have uh, my drums here, and then some of the guys here play guitar too. We would jam out and record stuff. We had like recording equipment and all that stuff here. And then a green screen to do some goofy ass videos and shit. <laughs> I think that about covers it. Thanks for coming to my shop. All right, there you have it. That's my tattoo shop, Pastime Tattoo. My home away from home. I mean, shit, I spend more time here than I do at home. So basically this is my home away from home. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'd like to know what is your favorite part of the tattoo shop? Was the yard on the wall? Was it this, was it that? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Also, if you find yourself in the Bay Area, whether you live here or you're visiting, come on down, visit the shop. We're here every single day from noon to eight. We'd love to see it. Also, the shop has an Instagram. I'll put it right down there. You should go check the shop Instagram out. The shop has a really cool website, pastimetattoo.com. Definitely go check that out. Check out everyone who works at this shop too. We got killer artists. We don't let no suckers up in here. If you go on our shop's Instagram, all of our artists is listed in our bio and it's all over the website. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you could get a notification every time I drop a new video. Thank you so much for checking out my shop and I'll see you next time. <laughs>